Uh, sharp shin wants to take off. Stretch it now. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Give us a good view. There we go. Almost identical to the Cooper Hop. Can't put the feathers up on the back of the head, the hackles up. And the tail doesn't fan as round when it's spread out. Here we are. Checking on our sharp shin hawk today. Good to see him back on the pole again. The favorite hunting spots get perched at the higher pole and they can see uh, both ends of the horse track and the birds that are feeding in the middle. Oh yeah, enjoying the perch. Looks like it may have had a small snack. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Oh yeah, I'm going to preen up now. Very content, sharp shinned hawk today, juvenile. There we go, gonna preen up. Getting all cleaned up now. They seem to have more of a pronounced white spots on the back too, a little bit more than the Cooper. Stand out a little bit more. So one of my favorite birds, they go through the very bushes after the small ones here and through the conifer trees. I see them down here on a regular basis. But doesn't usually sit still this long. But I believe that's because this one's already fed. And the fans of tail out, see it looks fairly straight. It's not that much curve. When they fan it all the way out, it doesn't curve as much as a Cooper Hawk. So it looks like it's been kind of, the curve has been trimmed off like with the scissors. It still curves just but slightly. So we definitely got us a juvenile sharp shin hawk here. And we're totally enjoying watching this one. Still up oh, and off we go. And that's because the Kestrel's after. <laughs> Kestrel says this is my spot, you gotta go. Alright then. We'll see what else happens. <laughs> 